Hi, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my project pan update. This is my first update for my project pan of um, 2018 or 18 and 2018. So I know it's a little different because I did start it a little bit later than most people, um, but this is my first update. So, and you know, I realized too in the last video that I did, I actually said I have four months to um, finish up all these products or hit my goals on them when I actually had five months. So, um, sorry about my little dumbness there. So now I technically, now that it's been a month, now I have four months left. Um, anyways, we're going to get into the products that I've already reached my goal on. So first product we got, um, is one of the ones that I hit pan on and this is from Benefit. It's the Rockator blush. This is just a little mini one, but you can see I hit pan on it right here. Now I did start this blush before this project pan, so don't think I like already hit pan on a blush in a month. Not that crazy. Probably took me about two months, but I love this one. Um, and I'm really glad I hit pan on it. So first one's down. Next product we got is from Benefit again. Um, I didn't mean to do that back to back, but this is the Boeing Industrial Concealer. And I was actually really surprised that I've already hit um, pan on this uh, quite a lot of it too so I just was using this to kind of carve out my brows um, which don't look at them today they're they're not in the best shape today but I was using this to carve out my brows and I was actually really surprised by how shallow this pan is I thought it was gonna be a lot a um, lot deeper so that's good hit number two goal which is good the third product that I've hit my goal on which I actually hit pan on as well um, same thing as like the benefit blush I have been using this for like about a month or so before um, so the Rockator one and this one I'd used already been using for a month consistently but you can see it's kind of hard to see with the light but right here in this area I hit pan on it um, this is the Lorac highlighter in starlight if y'all haven't tried the Lorac Highlighters, y'all been sleeping because I love these so much. They're so pretty and they're 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 just really gorgeous highlighters. But yeah, I love this one. I will definitely probably use this up. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out of the project pan. This is from the Contour Kit and Wet and Wild. I know. So over here, where I didn't have any pan at all on this for the um, banana shade, or I think it's technically the highlight shade. But it's like a banana powder um, but yeah I hadn't had any pan on it and you can see I've hit a lot of pan um, and then here as well is my update for the contour shade from this um, I had like a very small I think I had like one of these little ridge things you could see and now there's like one here one there one there one there and like a little bit up there so I'm hoping that I can finish this up I'm gonna keep this in the pan or not in the pan. I'm gonna keep this in the project because um, I'm hoping to use this up by the end of the year. This one I'm gonna roll out and roll something else in. But yeah, I was actually surprised that I had pan on this in less than a month. Um, crazy, I mean, I already had a dip in it, but pretty good. So those are the four items that I have reached my goal on so far. So let's get into, into the other um, items that I still have left in the project pan. Whoa. I'm dropping things. So first item we got, which too, I know this is going up a little bit late. I wanted to do in the first of the month, but I ended up getting really busy. And so I marked all of these on the first of the month. So for the rest of these updates, you might notice that I have a little bit less than what is marked and that's why. But here is the Lancome La Base um, primer that I had. So this top mark was where I was at. This is where I am now. Um, I think I kind of overshot it. So you can see right here, like I've really been squeezing. So it's really actually not here. It's definitely below this, um, but I can definitely finish this up within the next month. So hopefully next update, this will be gone. Next guy we got is from Little Rock um, as well. This is the Starlight, or I'm sorry, I was thinking of the highlight. This is the um, behind the scenes eye primer. So I started and we were up here for the primer, so this mark, and now we are down to here. So I think that's pretty good for like an eyeshadow primer. I do use it on my nose as well, so I might use a little bit more than most people. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty decent progress. So I'm pretty proud of that, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, next one that I have is from LA Girl. It's one of the pro color, corrector, color correctors. So I'm actually going this way with it, so as if I have it 
here. So we're going down just like the other products. So this is where we were to start with and this is where we are now. This is a pretty big leap so there was an air bubble but there's not a lot left in it and I really do like this color corrector. So next product we got is from Becca. This is the, it's like a little mini size of the under eye um, brightener. I thought this actually was going to go quicker than it did. So, so this is the mark again where I started with and this is the mark where I am at now. So I thought this would be more done, but you know, all right. Doesn't take a lot, which is good. That's a good thing. Very good. <laughs> Next one we have is from Mac. This is the um, Pro Long Wear Paint Pot and Painterly. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like before, but here's where we're at now. So not too bad. Um, I'm actually really surprised. Like there, I know there's still so much product, so I'm hoping maybe somehow I can use all of it up by the end of the year. But yeah, I'm surprised how much progress I made on that. Not mad. Not mad at all. Um, next, next product that I have, um, this is as exciting as the other ones, is the Philosophy Renewed Hope um, in a Jar Skin Tint. I'm sorry. Words are hard today for me. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, but here, let me open it up so y'all can kind of see where we're at. So that's a pretty good amount that I've used up. And here's the marks that I have. This is where I started. This is where I am. Now I know people are like, wow, this is like a foundation. How come you haven't used it as much? Um, I do work at a makeup store. So I do like to wear more like full coverage makeup because that's usually what's one of our most popular sellers. So this isn't as much coverage. So I only wear this on my days off. So this is me only using it, what, like eight times, maybe, maybe like nine. Um, but yeah, that's, that's quite a bit of progress for only using it like eight or nine times. So next one we got is from Rimmel. This is the Stay Matte Powder that everyone has in their project pan. You can see right here. My cat's having too much fun. She thinks it's like four time because <laughs> there's, the, there's the, the thing up behind me. Um, so just ignore the, sh the sheets moving behind me. But you can see right here, like there's almost like a little, I don't know what this is but it's like a little tint to the, the tin. And that's where the, the their hole was before. So I've made a lot of progress on this and you, this is definitely a lot thinner too. So this whole area up here is really thin. So I'm hopeful that I can use it up. Next guy we got is Modern Renaissance. And I've noticed the more I've used this, the dirtier this gets. Um, so, and it doesn't even look pink anymore. It's like a gray. So anyone else that had Modern Renaissance, do you have a gray palette now? please uh, let me know if I'm the only one that has a gray palette or not. So here's where we are. Um, see if it'll focus. There we go. So here's where we're at for Modern Renaissance. Um, definitely have used up a lot more of Tempura. Golden Ochre actually has a dip on it now, which did it before. Um, same with Raw Sienna. There's like a little dip. I don't know if you can see it on that one. That one and Burnt Orange. These are the three I've been using in my crease. Um, this one I use just to, to set my, my lid. Vermeer is almost gone. Von Fresco has expanded a little bit more. And then over here, Primavera actually has pan in it now. So that's not bad. And it's quite a bit of pan too. So I'm really proud of it. Um, I've been using like this one over here. I haven't really been touching these five shades. I've never even touched this one. I never used it. I want to use up at least, I want to hit pan on this one. And then we'll see where we go from here. But yeah, pretty good progress. Definitely Vermeer will be used up um, by the next by the next um, update. So, so next product we got is from Benefit. This is the high beam. Um, here is, there we go. Now we focused. So this is where I started and this is where I am. This I went so much faster than I was expecting it to. Um, I thought this was going to take me like all four months to use up and I like cream highlighters. I use cream highlighters every day underneath my powder ones. But anyways, yeah, I've used up a lot of this. I think I will for sure um, have this done by the time, like by next update even really, honestly. So not too bad. Um, another product that I think I'm going to have done by next update is this Buxom lip gloss. So here's a uh, where we started and here's where we're at. This is in shade Destiny as well. I really like this shade. So um, I will take the stopper out and that's kind of when I've noticed the progress slows down on these. But my goal is to have this finished by next update. So hopefully there's a lot of finishes we have next update too. Cause we had four for this one, but I want to have like four each update, hopefully. We'll see. 
this one I'm really struggling with. So I didn't even mark another line because it hasn't moved. I've used it twice. Um, I just don't want to reach for this, I guess, because I'm so focused on my modern renaissance that I haven't been reaching for this. This is a liquid liner from Tarte. It's like a glitter side, and this is more of like a metallic kind of foil side. So I'm going to give it one more month, and if I still don't use it or make any progress, then I'm just going to kind of roll it out and put something else in um, instead. We have the two Fiona Styles um, lip products, which I honestly, I wasn't reaching for both of these. I was only reaching for one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out. This is the Bonnie Bray one and I'm going to put another product instead of this. Um, but that way like I want to try to use this one up and then use this one up versus trying to use like both of these because they're so similar. Here is where we are at for this guy. Let me get my little piece of paper. So you can see right here is the one I'm referring to. So that's where that is at. Um, there. So we started at 8.1 and then here we are at 9.2. So not too bad. I do want to really try to make more progress on this the next month um, so that I can at least like get to the, bron the Bonnie Bray before the year ends. I think that's all for all the products that I originally had in the project pan. So now let me show you the one, two, three, four, five. So the five products I'm going to be rolling in because there was those four that I finished up and then the um, Fiona Styles Bonnie Bray one that I'm rolling out. Um, so to replace the the Bonnie Bray one, we'll just start there. Here's from Pop Sugar. It's a lip a tinted lip balm, and this actually expires in December of this year. I haven't had it that long. Here's where we're starting at. You can see I marked it on the side of the paper. I know this paper is a little bit janky and scary, but you can see I marked it right here, and I did do it at an angle because that's how the product is. Um, but yeah, it's just a tinted a tinted lip balm. So I'm gonna try to use this up, see if I can use it up by the end of this year. Since it does expire, and if it, after that, then I'm just gonna go ahead and chunk it. Some of the other products that I had previously used up, whenever I finished those, I just automatically started using these and didn't like think about if I should wait for the update to start them. So um, like Gold Rush was this one here from Benefit was completely new when I started it or when I started the um, the project. And I have a picture of what it looks like completely new. So that's what I'm gonna count like me starting it when it's new. Um, and this is where I'm at so far with it. So you can see the name Gold Rush is, it's like right here is really faded. Um, Cause I've been using it every day, except for today. I actually put Rockator on my, my cheeks just as a remembrance because I love that blush so much. So that's the one I'm going to be replacing Rockator with. Next product, same thing. Whenever I finish the little rock highlighter, I actually put this one in. This is a little mini size from Becca. It's in shade Opal. Um, again, this one was brand new when I started. So you can see there's quite a big dip right here because I take my brush and kind of, here I'll show you. I kind of like lay it right here. It has a really nice dip there. I'm hoping within the next month I can hit pan on this and then I'll throw in another highlighter because Lord knows I have so many highlighters that I just want to hit pan and love them all. Um, next one we have is from It Cosmetics. So I'm going to be rolling this in for the, um, what is it? Oh, the Wet n Wild. Um, the Wet n Wild powder that I had that I used up. So I marked over here. Let me, I didn't think to do this before we started. Um, so this is where we're starting. It's already kind of marked. Well, it's not exactly even because I wasn't tapping it evenly, but I marked here. Um, so across here is where we started. I've only used this for like a week or so, so there's a lot of room in the product that they give you. Um, it's really weird. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to use up one of these. Um, kind of like the Buxom one, I just use them and I love them, so I wanna see how long it takes for me to repurchase another one. Last but not least, we have the another It Cosmetics product. So I guess we're switching some brands for It Cosmetics now. Um, and I think this was for the Benefit um, concealer is what I'm replacing this with. So it's their brow power. It depends on how hard you press. It's what shade you get. Um, kind of dealio. But, but yeah, so it's been about a little bit of but about a month. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's where we are now. But I'm hoping to use this up by December. This isn't my favorite brow pencil, but I'm going to see how long it'll take me to use up. And this is just like a little mini size they have. So that is all guys. We are finished. Um, stay tuned next month. I promise I'm I'm going to really try to put it out on time next month um, for my update, but I appreciate y'all watching and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.